It was a cold, windy day in Greensboro, North Carolina, as Bethune-Cookman made the move north to try and take the MEAC reins out of the hands of the back-to-back -back champs. Both teams needing a bounce-back win after, shall we say, surprising losses, and this one was pretty much an elimination game as far as the Celebration Bowl bid was concerned, and the champs came out looking like they was about to stay the champs. Second Aggie play from scrimmage, Jame Martin hit the SpongeBob meme, like, all right, I'ma head out. 66 yards, seven points, some love from the big homie on the sidelines, and a and jumps out the gate early. But Thone Cookman looking to get back right, but this ain't the way. Akevius Williams with the backwards pass, Joseph Stuckey recovers it, gets down to the BCU 14, and the Aggies are ready to get back to work. And it was time to board the Ja Main train once again. Four yards, another touchdown for Martin, and it's 14-0 Aggies. And as you can see, a t was about that ground and pound like a UFC fight. This time it was the big dog, fullback William Simpson, straight through the teeth of the Wildcat defense like a piece of floss. Let's make the score 20-0, and it was looking like Bethune might need to pass the sticks, but they did finally get some offense going. Jimmy Robinson bounces outside for 20. Then on third and nine, Akevius Williams keeps the drive going with a 13-yard pass to Teron Mallard. Wildcats work their way down to the one-yard line when Ladarian Wilson was not going to be stopped from crossing the goal line. Wildcats showing some fight late in the half. They added another three points before the break and going to halftime down only 20 to 10. It was an all-star halftime show as the Blue and Gold Marching Machine was joined by high school bands from all across the state. That video is up on our Facebook page, so I'm going to stick to sports and jump right into this second half. Now the boy Kashawn Baker got more cuts than a butcher and will dust you like mama on a Saturday morning. He gets the pass from Jalen Fowler and takes it 36 yards to pay dirt, 26-10, Aggie strike first in the second half. Now the wind was out here slapping, and it was not a great day to be throwing the football. But when you got Elijah Bell and a good lead, you can go ahead and let that thing fly. And 1-3 made an adjustment on this ball and gets the 31-yard snag while falling down. Then, he gets wide open on a play action for a 22-yard touchdown from Jalen Fowler. 33-10, Wildcats in trouble, Aggies up big in the fourth quarter. But Bethune won't about to go out sad. They decide to start throwing the ball downfield too. And Akevius Williams connects with Stephon Francois over the shoulder for 45 yards. The very next play, Akevius Williams going for self. Nine yards, seven points, 33-17. Wildcats still got a mountain to climb, but that one made it a little bit easier. But this one did not. Jamaine Martin. 120 yards and three touchdowns on the day. This score gives him the single season touchdown record for AT, and Elijah Bell was quick to turn him up on the sideline. New record right here. Let's go. One more touchdown from Kashawn Baker made the final score 47-17, an entire molly wop by the Aggies, who need to do the same to NCCU and the Aggie Eagle Classic next week, then it's off to the Celebration Bowl for a and